Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to the video. So in this one, we're going over what played out in the stock market last week, what to expect in the week ahead, and also going over the top five trade ideas that I'm watching for the month of April 2024. As always, there are timestamps in the description. Now let's go ahead and get into it. So starting out by taking a look at the S&P futures chart. Last week, we went over the breakout above 52.40 to 52.47. And as long as they continue to hold above that, buyers are in full control of the trend. And last week was overall pretty slow and tame overall. It essentially consolidated and built out a bull flag for the entire week. This has been the common pattern that we have continued to see from the indexes. There is a breakout, a basing or consolidation period that follows that and then resolves with another breakout to the upside. And until that trend changes, there is no reason to be bearish on this market. Into next week, the key pivot levels to watch are 53.20 to 53.23 on the upside, which is the top of the current consolidation range, and would trigger a breakout and next leg higher for the S&P above there. 52.40 to 52.47 is the key support to keep the current trend in play, and in order for any sustained pullback to play out, it would need a break and hold below there. Another level to watch in the week ahead will be the trend line, which lines up with about 52.55 to 52.65 next week, depending on when or if it is tested. If so, that would be a spot to watch for a possible higher low. So now getting into some trade ideas and stocks that are at the top of my watch list for the month of April and the week ahead, starting out with AMD stock. This is one that we went over in last week's video, as AMD had failed its breakout back below 184 to 184.92, but it had started building out a nice consolidation base between some key levels. So this week it bounced right off the 172 level, which is a previous gap fill, and prices had strong reactions off that point as shown by the arrows on the chart, and the consolidation continued all week between those key levels. So this has now spent 8 days consolidating, and it's also sitting right at the 50 day moving average on the daily chart. This is my number one watch for the week ahead, and I would be expecting a sizable move out of this base when it does break. My personal lean would be upside just because in this market, it is important to defer to the overall trend. In order for upside to play out, it needs a break and hold above 184 to 184.92 which can then target levels above at 193.75 and 200. Breaking below 172 would be the breakdown and downside trigger, which could then be a tradable short targeting the gap fill below first at 164.46. Another stock that is at the top of my watch list for the week and month ahead is Roku stock, ticker symbol ROKU. So this is a very messy and not great looking chart overall, but what is going to set this up for a great looking trade is the current 6 week long and very tight consolidation pattern. As I've gone over before, the longer and the tighter that a consolidation is, the larger the move will come from it. You could argue that there is a similar consolidation pattern from March to April 2023, but if you compare that to the current setup, that was much more choppy and less defined, and thus resulted in a messier move once it broke. Due to how clean and tight the current one is, there is a great chance for a strong and clean move in result once it breaks. So the key levels to watch on this are 66.1 to 66.75 on the upside which would trigger the breakout above and 61.4 to 62 on the downside which would trigger the breakdown and downside below. If it breaks to the upside, this can target the gap fill at 71 and then the key zone above there at 72.5 to 75. If it breaks to the downside, it can be a short targeting the 59.95 gap fill and then 58.18 next below there. Another stock that is a top watch for me and is another that we went over last week is Google stock, ticker symbol GOOG. So the stock has continued to build a base below the 152.77 key resistance and gap fill. This is a very well defined setup that is looking primed for a breakout very, very soon. A break and hold above 152.77 triggers that breakout and leg higher, which can target 154 and then highs slash new highs at 155.2 plus. Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA, has been a stock that has shown weakness versus the market through all of 2024, but has built out a pattern that looks interesting for potential trade setup in the month ahead. So 180 to 182.6 is a key pivot zone that has produced large moves off of, and this stock is building out a base right below there, where it's been consolidating for 9 days now. This could be looked at as a potential inverse head and shoulders pattern, where a break and hold above 182.6 can be the upside slash breakout trigger. So if it's able to break, a way to play this could be to enter above 182.6 and then play it with a tight stop loss back below 180, so it limits your risk below 2%, with upside for a 10% plus move back to the top of the range. And one more that I'm watching in the week and month ahead is Revolve Stock, ticker symbol RVLV. So the company reported an earnings beat at the end of February, which resulted in the stock reclaiming above the key resistance and bottom of the previous range at $20 per share. 
Since then, it has been building out a base slash bull flag for the past month and looking prime for a move higher very soon. So I'd be watching for a break above the trendline resistance at about 21.5 to be that upside trigger. And this could then target recent highs at 23.2 and then 24.81 would be the next target level above there. So that's what I'm watching for from the market and the top five trade ideas that I'm watching in the week and month ahead. Hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. For anybody interested in joining the private Discord chat, that is the first link down in the description to get my personal trade alerts, nightly watch lists, and answer any questions you have in there. I'll catch you all next time. Good luck trading this week, guys, and peace out.